The bass pump effect is a really cool effect that's easy to pull off in Film R9. It makes the whole video shake to the music. Hey, I was listening to that. If you want to learn how to do this in Filmora, stick around. I'll show you how. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be part of the conversation. I'd like to thank the good people at Filmora for sponsoring this video. The first thing we want to do is find ourselves a piece of music that we want to use for this effect. Let's right click on it and let's select Beat Detection. Filmora will now get that set up and ready for us to edit. Under our beat options, instead of every four beats, I'm going to select every single beat to be displayed. Now let's bring that down into our timeline and you can see the beat detection has done its thing. Find a piece of footage that you want to use and bring that down on top of your audio track. Now grab that same piece of footage and bring it down into another track directly on top of the first. Let's right click on that top piece of footage and select crop and zoom. We want to crop this in a bit from our original footage. Let's hit OK and that's ready to go. Now in our Effects tab, let's click on Filters and in the Shake tab, let's select the up and down motion and bring that down into a track above our other two video tracks. Stretch it out all the way to the end. Now while we're still in our Effects tab, let's click on the Included section and search for Chromatic Aberration. Let's grab that and bring that down into another track on top of our others. Stretch it all the way out to the end. In the Chromatic Aberration settings in the upper left, we can dial this back a little bit. Let's bring our fade back to around 32 or so. And now let's extend our timeline so we can see what's going on on each beat. Let's lock our audio track and lock our main track. Now let's go and put our playhead on each one of these beat detection spots. And we're going to slice through all of these top three tracks here. Let's move our playhead forward three frames and slice again. Let's go to our next beat detection spot and slice again. Move three frames forward and slice another time. We're gonna move through this entire track and wherever there's a beat detection spot, we're gonna slice through the top tracks, move three frames forward and slice again. Let's do that to our entire project. Once we're sliced, let's go back and remove each section in between our slices. An easy way to do this is just hold the shift key on your computer and select all of the pieces that we want to delete. Then we can just hit the delete button, making sure our auto ripple is turned off and all of them will disappear. Now when we hit play, watch what happens. If you wanna learn other cool Filmora tricks, tips and techniques, make sure you click the video on screen now or the ones I've got pinned down below. Peace.